All right, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be tying the Miller's knot, which is also known as a bag knot or a sack knot, depending on who you're talking to. Uh, the Ashley Book and Knots lists it um, as a couple of different things. There's a, a bunch of different variations on this knot, so what we're going to focus on today is what the Ashley Book and Knots actually calls a Miller's knot. So the purpose of a Miller's knot, like I said, is a binding knot, and it's used, just used to tie up bags and things like that. Uh, was used back in the day, which was a Wednesday, by the way, to uh, by Miller's, hence the name Miller's Knot, to tie up sacks of flour. So the first step in the Miller's Knot, I'm going to tie this uh, in reverse here so you guys can see it at home. But basically you're going to come around the bag, or whatever you're tying onto, and you're going to go, let's see, right over left, which looks like this. So that's the first step. Now the second step is making a second turn around that knot, like so. So you should have something that looks like that. Two turns. After you make the second turn, let me zoom in a little bit. Alright, so after you make the second turn, right there, all you're going to do is take this part, which is the initial end that got wrapped, and pull it out a little bit, and take your working end, put it right down there, and tighten. So let's try that again. right over left, just like that. Essentially what you're doing with this second turn is you're binding that standing part one more time. So there's the second turn. And then right here is where that working end goes. And just tighten. And there you have Miller's not. Thanks for watching.